Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have discussed about uh, how to uh, install uh, .NET Core SDK for Web API development, right? So let's start. So first of all, we have to install .NET Core SDK uh, software for uh, uh, start developing the Web APIs. So this is the URL basically. Uh, http dot net microsoft slash en slash download so you have to put the url in the browser and then uh, download the sdk version and install it in our in your system right and once you will install dot net core sdk the sp dot net core will get you install automatically so when you install .NET Core SDK version in your uh, laptop or PCs, so SP.NET Core will get automatically installed in your uh, system, right? So here, uh, when you uh, enter the URL in the browser, hit the uh, URL in the browser. So you have three options to here, uh, Windows, Linux, Mac and Docker. There are four different uh, three different type of uh, operating system here. So uh, and another one is Docker. So when we click on uh, Windows, so you have to install your uh, .NET download .NET SDK 64, right? This package you have to install. When you have uh, Linux uh, machine. So you have to click on Linux and you have to install particular .NET SDK version. If you have a Mac operating system, so you have to install, you have to click on Mac and then install into a particular .NET SDK 64. So currently uh, .NET 6.0 version is uh, running. So you have to install download SDK x64 version, right? So uh, basically, there are two tabs here. First one is download is download .NET SDK and download .NET runtime. So what are the major difference between them? So basically, download .NET SDK is software development kit. So when you have installed .NET SDK, so you you have performed that develop. Uh, you have. Uh, uh, you have to develop our uh, application web api build or deploy the uh, application right when you install your uh, .NET framework you have to only deploy the application on their machine so this is basically uh, installed on the server uh, server side when you uh, want to deploy your web api in your server uh, server so or any vpn or any server so you have to install dotnet runtime framework right so use of dotnet core so dotnet core sdk will give you complete environment to develop build and test the test and deploy the web application when you install the dotnet sdk you will get a complete environment to develop build and test and uh, test your web application right so here you have a link you have to copy and paste the link on the browser and you have to download the exe file of download sdk 64 version and after that we install the uh, particular sdk version and when you install dot, uh, the SDK version, you have to complete package to develop, build, test and deploy your application. So in next video, you have uh, we have uh, installed the Visual Studio code, right? And uh, SQL Server Management Studio.